Hey there, everybody. Fett here, and welcome back to Fett Plays Civilization VI Gathering Storm. Unless you're watching this for the first time, then welcome. You may, if you have been here before, you may be wondering, hey, what happened to that Scotland game you were playing with all the mods and stuff? Well, there was an update to Civilization VI Gathering Storm, and, well, I don't have access to that anymore. Because uh, it crashes every time I go through a certain save. But, we're not done. We're going to play. I'm going to drop the difficulty a little bit to King. We're going to play an epic game on island plates, because that's what I was doing before and I actually enjoyed it. On a large map, and we're going to disable the culture victory again. Yeah, you might recognize this as basically the same setup I had that other time, except with maximum city-states. Because we're going to go in here again, and we're going to play Scotland, because they can always take our mods, but they can never take our freedom. And freedom we shall have. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization, on towards the stars. Robert the Bruce, as the stalwart defender of Scotland, you are no stranger to war. Yet rarely do you seek to inflict it. If you keep your people happy, you'll inspire them to greatness. Let anyone who takes advantage of your weaker neighbors meet your fearless Highlanders. They can teach the true meaning of freedom. Let's go. So, we're going to continue to try for a science victory first, since we have the Scottish Enlightenment to get us those science bonuses. I think that might be the best beginning way to go now one of the changes they did make to the game was that they nerfed science production uh when you get ahead of an era so the farther ahead we get the slower our research is going to be just by a little bit so that might mean that our game plan is going to change as things go on but we have to play it to find out you know don't forget about uh, the highlanders famous um saying icon going to blue as well as our golf course's famous saying icon going to pink it's on the you know, it's on the arch above every golf course. Obviously. Let's get in here again. And let's fight for freedom. Again. Yeah, I don't need these, but thank you. There actually have been some pretty major changes to other things as well. For example, the uh, diplomatic victory now requires 20 diplomatic points instead of 10. But there are more ways to get diplomatic points. So, we'll see where things go as we play along here. Dude, bananas, stone... Ivory and wheat right on the river fourth. How can I not start sterling right here? What a beautiful spot. I actually like where this is starting. All right, warriors. Let's go ahead and do some initial exploration as is tradition. Oh, spices right nearby. I'm loving it. I'm actually loving it so far. All right. Now, this is a epic game, which means it's 250 turns longer. I'm hoping by the time I'm done with this game, you know, all the modders will have updated their mods if necessary, if they felt like doing it. And if they didn't, maybe we can filter out the mods that aren't going to work from the ones that will. We've discovered a continent, a Vendian. It's our initial starting continent. It's pretty great. It's got elephants. What's not the love? Honestly, any continent with elephants is a continent for me. So we're at the beginning. Things are going to start a little slow. I think playing on Epic will... Wow, that is a lot of initial starting wheat. Will give us a chance to... Hello. Hello, Barbarian Scoot. It is best to use caution when moving close to enemy units. Leave me alone. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to go ahead and follow and fight these guys as necessary. Hmm. They're running off, but there's probably a base down this way. If there's pirates, or if there's barbarians here, they're not pirates. As far as I know, maybe I've got it twisted. But we should be able to fend them off fairly easily. If we can... It yeah! It seem we have finally tracked the barbarian raiders plaguing these lands to their source. So, the smart move would probably be to wait till Code of Laws and then grab some discipline. To immediately be able to slap these boys down. Although we can fight them to a stalemate. And gain experience over time this way. So maybe we do that. We'll see. 
All right, the scouts are probably heading back. The problem is when they once they head back. Continues to prosper. Ooh, Sterling grew already, but we do have bananas. I mean, let's face it: when you see bananas, when you get bananas, you really just want to eat it all. How can you not? And then you just pump out babies, as you can see. Why do you think we have a growth of two? You think it's an accident? I don't. Okay, just being cautious. We're about to get our first scout. They have warriors now, so I think I'm going to move over here. They should attack us. Which is why I moved onto the hills. Give us a little bit of a defensive advantage. Yeah, our little uh, screen over here got smaller. So we defended ourselves kind of okay. Reconnaissance units like scouts are... We got our first scout. We're going to build a monument next. And then as soon as we can afford to buy a settler, we're going to do that. So that might take a while. That's my favorite strat. Uh, they're an ideal train. We're not. So let's move over here. Or let's slap them anyway. Nah, we can't. Okay. So obviously if I attack in any way, shape, or form, I die. Mm, I don't like having to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and retreat. These warriors are kind of close to leveling up. I'd rather see if I can keep them that way. Alright. Fall back into the forest. We might be able to heal and fortify there. Scouts, do your namesake here and discover me this island. This is an island edge. Okay, I love this. We can ha definitely have a city down here. So far, I'm really liking where we are. Oh, that's way too close. That's way too close. Keep moving back. We're probably going to have to move you straight into Sterling. And I don't particularly like that, but that's kind of where we are. We're about to get pottery. I thought Clay must feel happy in the good potter's hand. Then I realized clay is not actually something that has feelings because it's not a living creature. But it did give us the ability to make a granary, which is pretty darn great. Let's get animal husbandry next. Yeah, we still need to heal. We don't really have a choice here. We're not healthy. Oh my god. What is the start? The start was so good! All right. Is this hill or is this forest? This is plains. So move here. Is this forest? Obviously, that's not forest. All right. This is tricky. Uh, let's stay on the hills. You guys fortify till healed. Let the barbarians come close and then we'll fight them off. All right. Still looking at a major defeat if we decide to attack, so we're going to hold off. Keep exploring. Four turns before we get the Code of Laws, and right now I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, keep moving around. I like this position up here, too. All right, now we're in a position where we can attack him at least. We're going to take big damage, but we're going to give out big damage and get some experience, which is more important. Wow, we took 40 damage, so there are 26 for that. Heal. You are probably still a couple of fights away from a level up here. This is not how I expected life to start. Alright, explore the rest of the River Tay. Mountain range over here. All right, I'm digging that. Sterling stands in the middle of some mountains and some rivers. Looks like we've found an, another barbarian encampment. New it is not wisdom, but authority that makes a law. All right, we got urban urban planning for production, but I kind of want the gold and the faith from God King, and we're definitely going with discipline. We need more attack against our enemies here. These freaking barbarians. Okay, from there, we haven't met anyone yet, so let's go with craftsmanship over foreign trade. It's 31 turns, which means it's going to take a while, but that's probably all right. all right. Now, at least, we have a little bit more ability to fight back here. Okay, we're generating money and faith. It's going to take 400 gold to get another, get a first settler. 
which feels forever. Just as our citizens have faith in your leadership. That's a theory. I don't know if I subscribe to it. Oh. Get him! He's done it! And he's gotten a promotion. Please don't get killed next turn. Beautiful. Actual beautiful combat. Okay, nobody get close. Ooh, diggity! This military unit has proven themselves. Yes, we did get ourselves. I did not expect to have like five million freaking battle cry, definitely. Five million barbarians around here, but dang if this isn't the world we live in right now. Um You know what? Just fortify and heal. Right where you are. If someone decides to attack you, then we can look about getting out of there. Slingers are bad. But slingers are conquerable. In theory. Hit them. I think even if they gang up on our warriors here, we should be strong enough to survive a hit. We're about to get our monument as well, which means more culture. No, don't fall! Oh, you poor dude. Okay, let this fight happen. Retreat into the city. Dude, we did 45 damage to the defending warriors. I am fond of pigs. The attacking. Dogs look up to us. Cats look down on us. Pigs treat us as equals. You can now find horses, at least I hope. Archers sound so good right now, but I think mining is the way to go since we have some nearby stone. Go ahead and grab us a granary. Ah, do I keep fighting? Actually, I win whichever side I go up against here, so let's keep fighting. He's going to move up, and they shouldn't be able to attack us this turn, at least. Keep slapping them scouts. That's right. Oh, yeah, they got cats now. I guess I must have left that on. I don't think that's a mod. I think that's technically DLC. More barbarian? Oh, no, it's just these, these guys. So I don't want to lose these guys, needless to say. I'm going to hope that he can survive a fortification, but there's a real chance I might have goofed up there. Please. Crap! Kill him! Yes! What a champion! He has totally earned me this bronze working. What a goddamn hero. Get in here and heal. Our city is safe. For our warriors have defended Sterling. I was actually, like, totally afraid there for a bit. So, you know what? These barbarians are over here. They're being jerks. I'm almost tempted have him go somewhere else but instead I'm gonna have I'm gonna walk around here I'm gonna see what's over here we're scouts this is what we do I'll be dang if some freaking barbarian scum is gonna stop us from doing it man things are expensive here okay so this is the end of this section so this should all be ours this should all belong to Scotland it's beautiful we got our own little half of an island nation just like Scotland and who knows, maybe it'll be better than the other one. Or maybe our allies, you know, won't try to conquer us every couple hundred years. We'll see how it goes. Here's the Irish Sea. Alright, barbarians, let's take the attack to them if we can. Head down towards these hills. We got some business to give out. Our scouts are going to actually explore this part of the island. If we got our own island to ourselves, we're golden. Then it's just time to colonialize. You know how it is. Slap him. Slap this guy. Yeah. Take my slaps. You fool. That was really good damage. Is he going to run? Technically, yes. When you find yourself in a hole, quit digging. Mines are great. Quarries are good. Let's heal up. What do we want next now? 
Well, we did get a boost towards bronze working, but I want to get writing. We need to be able to write down our words. They're wise words. We deserve the ability to write them down. We're going to attack that guy. 10 out of 10. Because if we can get our scout to level up, he can get um, the ability to walk through the forest a little bit more easily. Right now, that seems like it's what we're going to want in this life. Alright, we're going to be... Eh, we'll probably be about 50 turns in at the rate we're moving now. Oh, go over here. Okay, we found horses. And there are no other source of horses on our side. So we're probably going to expand our first city over here. Unless... Well, especially if there's another civilization over here. So let's explore around these horses. As civic knowledge grows, so do our methods of governance. Without craftsmanship, inspiration is a mere reed shaken in the wind. All right, with slower speeds that take more turns, these 50% and 30% off uh, toward builders and uh, units is going to mean a lot more than it used to. Right now, we don't. I don't think we need them. I'd rather gain gold and faith. But eventually, that's going to be a really big deal. Let's go ahead and get foreign trade. Granary's done. We don't have a place for the Great Bath, so this is probably a good time... To get us a settler. Yeah, let's start with a settler. Slap him. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank you for your extra experience. It's not much, which is unfortunate that they still do that, but it is what it is. Got some faxes over here. And another slinger. Oh, crud. <laughs> this is a little rough. I think we're going to need to retreat again. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to call a retreat here. And let's head back into the city. That's a little too dangerous for me. More barbarians. Good lord. They're everywhere. Crud. We should be able to make it into the city. Yeah, we're fine. Warriors are fine. Yeah, let's not... Let's not do that. It seems like a silly move. Fall back. So yeah, we got our own city. Next to the Irish Sea. Obviously, we have to protect ourselves, so... Heal up a little bit. Let's see what's up here to the north. Right now, it's really looking like we have our own... Our own island. Slap them. Booyah! Gave him the Scottish stick. Luckily, they don't seem to be that invested in actually taking over our city. I don't know why. Wow, really? This is all... So, we don't know what this is over here. This could be a whole other chain. Or a whole another mass. I'm actually going to have you attack these guys now. I'm going to have the scout come down and get rid of these slingers for the experience. Because it would be really nice if they could go through, you know, forest more easily. I mean, that does get the kill that I want. But it also puts them in possible jeopardy. You know what? Defend yourself. That's a better option right now. Everyone defend yourselves. We're gonna be fine. Probably. Beautiful. Promote. Ranger. Extra movement in forest and hill. Or forest and, uh, out. Rainforest. That's what I was trying to think of. Slap him. Get a second one? Nope. Alright. That's fine. We got him. We're pushing him back. We're up to 300 gold now. Can we afford a builder? We can. And yes, it is tempting. Oh yeah. Beautiful. And you should be able to slap them both. 
fan freaking tastic so this is all our island which oh my god he has literally no health <laughs> which means it's a good time it's a good place for us to explore and decide to get what we want I still think coming over here and getting these horses is probably the first step to victory and then we gotta worry about all of these freaking barbarian units man Someone already built the Great Bath? We're 50 turns in. What are you doing? Okay, they recommend a city up here, which I can understand. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, these are all good places. I don't deny any of that. But I want one over here first. I want horses, of course. I kind of like this spot. So I tell you what. Come over here. Scout it out. Let's get our settlers moving. They shouldn't have time to steal our settlers. I guess this is the best time to start building slingers. And also the best time to buy us a builder. I mean, to be honest, I don't think there's a good time to buy us a builder right now. We have, uh... We have some problems going on over here. I can get a camp up here. Yeah, we can get a lot of stuff. You're just gonna have to wait. Stay connected to these warriors. Because once these guys are healed up, that's probably when we're going to have you move out. Okay, yeah. Do this. Stay here. That's perfect. Um, heal up here. And stand by. Are you joking me? They have quadrireams in 2725 BC? We have the opportunity to develop a formal trade route between two cities. That's the positive aspect of trade, I suppose. The world gets stirred up together. Caravan series will be great once we can actually get a trade route going. Although double production for ancient classical era naval units That's could also be fantastic. Of trade, I Nothing I need right now, but still good stuff to consider. Speaking of consideration, let's get the state workforce going. I hate the fact that they have quadrimes already. Yeah, that's bothering me. It's all right. They can't hurt us. Well, I mean, they can hurt our scouts. I guess. And technically, there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> if they decide to do so. We have recently gained advanced knowledge in city planning. Writing is easy. All you have to do is cross out the wrong words. Campuses are now within our control. So that's what we're going to want. I kind of want sailing, and I'm about to get a boost for it, so give me sailing. May I make a suggestion? No. We've expanded our, our terrain. Have chosen to create a city along the low coast. Yes, I know. Okay, great. We have zero era points so far. Uh, Roxburg exists exists now. Excuse me. Roxburg, you're gonna start off by not buying us anything, but building us. Probably a granary, because that usually seems like the first thing that we want to start with. And then you can sit in here and wait for a while. Alright, let's get up here and see about getting these elephants. Once these slingers are done, Sterling can finally defend itself a little bit better. Plus we'll get a boost toward, um, toward archery as well, which is going to be fantastic for dealing with these... Freaking bastards over here. I kind of had the feeling they'd attack. I just didn't have a way of guaranteeing it. Of knowledge of it, I should say. Go ahead and build our camp. For the extra gold. There you go. I kind of had the feeling you guys were going to strike us first. We did more damage, first ranged unit. which is fantastic. And of course, our first ranged unit is uh, nice. All right, we might be getting that bonus to archery soon. Now, I do want a campus. Oh, my lord, plus three. And this is where I want it. So I'm going to have to wait on it because I need more gold. But we could set up a trader almost right away between Roxborough and... Sterling, and that'll be great. 
And I'm going to actually have you heal up here. Uh, you're connected, so you're skipping your turn as well. Stay on alert. Just stay here. Just don't do anything. <laughs> Just don't make it worse. Dang it! I wanted my slingers to have a chance gone, there. And it is time for us to define our beliefs. Apparently we got enough for a Pantheon. Alright. Nice new screen for choosing your Pantheon. I like it. Must be part of the updates. Desert Fork Folklore. Let's see. We don't have desert. We have rainforest tiles near us, so we could get Sacred Path. We get a lot of um, extra faith for that. River Goddess. I mean, we do have Sterling next to a river. These all require holy sites next to rivers, though. Extra production toward wonders. Divine Spark. Great person points from holy sites. Campuses with libraries and theater squares with an amphitheater. I kind of like Divine Spark. Extra production from Marsh Oasis. Let's see. God of War. Fertility rights. You get a builder. Hmm. City patron goddess. Extra production toward districts and cities without one. That could actually be really good. Fire goddess. Extra faith from geothermal fissures and volcanic soil. That's new. To me, at least. Faith from quarries could be good. Ooh. Food and production from camps. Yo, we got elephants. We got elephants up here. We got elephants here. We got elephants here. This could be good. Let's get this. Our yeah. civilization has accomplished something historic. Got the goddess of the hunt up in here. Maybe that means we need to build the uh, Temple of Artemis. You know, it seems thematically appropriate. And they're recommending farms, which I totally get. So let's build some farms. Give us a little bit more housing. Uh, stay here. We'll, we're going to sling next turn. Don't worry. You'll get your chance. <laughs> There's plenty to sling against. Well, you can't get over there now. So I guess we're going to go around the hard way. Beautiful stuff, my dudes. Don't worry. We'll find our way over. They got more slingers coming our way, too. I'd like to build a quick galley. Alright, we hit them darn hard. We should be able to kill them now with these guys. Beautiful. That's a boost to archery. Boom. I wanted that with my life. Uh, you know what? We can build a farm over here. Have you thought about that? This is also a very farmable little piece of territory. Though our population grows... There is little room for our newest citizens. Talk about Roxborough, I think. Yeah, we're already low on housing, which is why I wanted you to produce a granary first. See, I knew what I was doing to some degree. All right, they gave us knowledge of irrigation. Beautiful. And a lot of food here, too. Three food versus this farm, which is on the plains, which is two food. So, you know, I can't complain too much. Wait, was that all of our... Oh, yeah, because we built the camp, too. I forgot about that. I actually did forget about the camp. My bad. Alright, I'm probably going to be using my archers to take out a lot of these barbarians, because they're really bothering me. Did you hear that? You're bothering me. You jerks. Stop bothering me. Get them. Dang it. I was hoping for a kill there. That's alright. It's a fine start to our day. I hate the fact that you're on my wheat. Oh lord. That was that was a little dangerous. That was very dangerous. Get away. Protect yourself. Hi. Just our lands that can be improved, but our waters as well. It is not Sailing. that life ashore is distasteful to me, but life at sea is better. Fishing boats could be amazing. Galleys will be nice to do some exploration around our island. 
Uh, let's get archery next, because I'm going to want to upgrade these guys ASAP. They're about to upgrade, or they're about to promote. So getting them upgraded is just, you know, a little bit of bonus. Trade with rocks, bro. A little bit of food, a little bit of production. In addition to bringing riches to our civilization. And roads. Don't forget about roads. It's actually pretty important. Uh, yeah, I'm going to buy it. I want that campus. That campus is amazing. That spot, I should say. All right, Slingers. Volley, please, if you'll do me this favor. And it looks like that is going to be uh, just about it for this episode of That Plays Civilization 6 Gathering Storm. If you're enjoying it, make sure to let me know by giving a like you haven't already. Feel free to subscribe for more because it's uh, going to keep coming and won't stop coming. And hopefully this time, you know, I won't have a fatal crash error keeping me from playing the game moving forward. Thanks again for watching this episode of That Plays Civilization 6 Gathering Storm. They did take our mods, but they have yet to take our freedom to civilize this entire island. My name is Thet, and I will see you in the next video.